Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Aperture's new Amran P60C panel light. This thing is amazing and I want to talk a little bit about it today. This thing is super bright. I'm actually just going to just gonna turn it off. So you guys know that I've done a few videos in the past about Aperture's lighting products and you guys know how much I like them. This came out this year and as soon as I saw it I knew I just had to pick it up because I knew it would be so useful for the kind of work that I do. So whenever I do a video where I'm talking about a product I always say that I'm not going to go into the specifications and things like that. There's a million great YouTubers out there who do a way better job than I could ever do explaining this stuff. So go watch one of them if you want to know all about the light and the power behind it and all the features. I'm more interested about how I'm going to actually use the light on a day-to-day -day basis, be that for YouTube or my video business. I'm always having to quickly put together interview setups, and although a big softbox and a light, like a studio light, probably would give you the softest light, it's not always practical to take as big a package as this with me on shoots, so I had to get something a bit more portable, but something that would still give me a really good quality result. That was my main worry, I didn't want to get something that wouldn't be able to to give me the kind of result I wanted. So yeah, I've used it for a couple of shoots like that so far, and yeah, just I've got really good results from it. The P60C also comes with a small foldable softbox that you can attach to the front of it. It isn't the best, but it, it definitely softens the light up a lot, um, and I would definitely use it if you're shooting interviews or anything like that. I'm actually gonna put it where my, my Godox and softbox is right now, just to kind of show you what it would look like if I was gonna use it for a talking head on YouTube like this. So obviously one of the main attractions to this light is the portability. The thing is really thin, really small, and it comes in a lovely carry case, which keeps everything nice and snug in it, and it's really easy to take to shoots. The thing does weigh quite a bit, so keep that in mind when you're packing, um, and if you're gonna go with this. It isn't a lightweight panel, it has some weight to it, but to be honest, that probably just speaks for the quality of the panel, um, and all the kind of great tech that's inside it. Now, because it's quite heavy, do not put it on a rickety light stand like I've got here. I really probably shouldn't have it on this. If you do have a more heavy duty light stand, that'd be great. And if you are going to put it on a stand, definitely use sandbags because it is very top heavy. Um, I'm going to need to get something a little bit better than this because honestly, this is going to fall over and break someone's ankle. So another limitation that I came across when shooting things for clients was the fact that I didn't have a battery powered light. My Godox does take like a V-mount battery, but V-mount batteries are like, from what I know, like 400, 500 pound, f that. And I don't really want to spend that kind of money on a battery. I'm sure I'll need to at some point in the future, but not right now. I actually had two batteries, these two batteries, NP F960, F970. They're pretty standard, you can get them really, really cheap off of like Amazon, and these just slot right onto the back. It allows you to at least get a light source if you don't have any power available, or you, even if the cable just doesn't reach far enough to where you want it to be. Also, I don't know if Aperture did this on purpose, but in the nice carry case that you get with it, it almost seems like they actually like left room for two of these batteries. I could be totally wrong, but it kind of feels like they did leave room for it, so it's great that you can just put these straight into the bag and you don't have to carry them elsewhere, you can keep it all as one package. So obviously the light is full RGB, so you know, you can get kind of any colour that you want to get. Again, it links with Sidus Link, the app, you get access to all these effects and I kind of showed you guys how you would use them or how you could use them in shoots or for projects or client work. So there's the ability to do that, but obviously on a much larger scale, so for bigger sets, you get a much bigger light source and this thing is so bright, so you're able to like really, really light up a room or light up a subject um, with any colour that you want. And it really is just very powerful for the size of it. So um, for any sort of creative projects, you know, music videos, anything really that you're doing, this can be a, a super handy tool. And because this light is so powerful, if you have like a, a clean wall, you can basically just shoot this directly in the wall and change the entire colour of the background, which could be amazing if you're doing like YouTube thumbnails, I actually did that to get the YouTube thumbnail for this video. Obviously it's not as good as like having an actual coloured paper backdrop, but I mean it's not that far off. Having this to support a bigger light source is great. You could use this for a hair light, it's a little bit overkill for hair light, but you could use it for that. Really anything, the possibilities are endless. I'm sure even talking right now you guys can imagine so many things that you could use it for. Um, and I definitely think it's something to have in your arsenal. I love the Aperture MC which is a much smaller version of this, that thing is so useful. But the only thing that that lacks in is, is, is intensity. You're not getting 
massive amounts of light out of that small, you know, portable light source. So having this just really steps the game up a bit. But for the price, this is like a really powerful tool. I think I picked it up for about £300, which um, is pretty cheap for everything that you get, to be honest. Um, and it's definitely a great investment for me personally, for my video business. So that's my thoughts on the P60C. I love this thing. Can't wait to use it and shoots going forward. If you make YouTube videos, if you have a video business and you're looking for a light source, maybe you're looking for a first light and you need something to sort of do a bit of everything, this is a great choice and I don't really make too many product videos, but when it is something that I know people could get a lot of use out of having, I like to sort of recommend it. Hopefully there's someone out there that this video helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. If you are interested in the light, I'll probably put some sort of link in the description where you can check it out um, and pick one up for yourself. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you guys in the next one.